Hey everyone, this is Sarah Cruz. I'm here with Liberty Rising, and I want to give you a short framework for the um, hour-long core repatterning meditation trauma releasing video um, that you hopefully will watch after this. Um, the technique is called core repatterning, okay, and uh, it was created by a woman named Lynn Kirkham. She taught it to me, and uh, I now uh, share it with as many people as I can because I think it's amazing. Um, the intention is to identify patterns in our life, right? Or identify places where we we have stored trauma in our body or stored um, pain, stored anger, stored fear, right? Something um, is stored in our body that we haven't had, maybe had access to um, and it's affecting our nervous system, okay? So I guess the overall intention is to support ourselves so that we have a clean and clear nervous system, right, that's healthy and resilient, and it's not holding on or contracting around old uh, memories or challenging things that have happened to us in the past, which is a natural, normal thing, right? When something happens and it's too much for us to process in the moment, our body's like, oh, I got this, and it'll just hold on to it, right, <laughs> until we come back to unpack it. Um, and sometimes years go by before we feel enough resource, um, enough safety, or enough love, um, right, and, until we're courageous enough sometimes to come and, and deal with them and, and see what's here, right? Um, so the intention for this process is, is we start out with a meditation, right, that has um, some of its root in theta healing. So if you're familiar with theta healing, some of it might sound familiar. Um, and the intention is to get as much resource as we can. So bring our physical, our emotional, and our uh, mental energetic state into a state of openness, um, ease, calm. Uh, we want to, you know, have sensations and feelings of love in our body um, and, and get the system into a state of trust. And when we do that, um, it's easier to, to, to be like, what's happening? And be able to hear something, okay? Um, and not be overwhelmed by it, okay? Um, the next thing is that um, the, the most important thing is that you're honest. You're honest about what you're actually feeling in your body. Okay, a lot of times um, honesty can be hard because um, we don't want to be a bad person. We don't want to hurt anybody. Um, and so we might judge authentic feelings or thoughts that, we ar that arise, right? A thought that might sound hurtful or painful or resentful or mean or judgmental, right? And we're like, I don't want to be that kind of person. I want to I wanna, like, be a positive kind of person which is awesome, right? Because um, we all, like, positivity feeds us all. But we just can't put positivity on top of <laughs> content that is in pain or content that is hurting or content that is fearful, right? Um, it's just kind of layering flowers on top of something else, right? So the intention for this, um, this meditation and this journey is to go inside of that content um, that we might have already judged or might judge along the way and be honest and um, express as much non-judgment as possible. Okay, and then um, I'll, I'm going to lead us. I'll start us out. Um, anything that I say, right, um, if it uh, resonates with you, you can say it. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't say it. Um, if it's kind of right but not right, you can make it your own, right? This is about your voice and your truth. Okay, and then eventually once we get through the, the um, kind of ugly truth, we can begin to affirm the beautiful truth, okay? And I also want to say that all of these are beautiful truths, right? Um, even the ugly dark ones are beautiful truths because uh, they're true. Um, and yeah, so I invite you to um, just relax and be open, be honest, um, and trust what you hear. Okay, um, and uh, I'm very, I'm always happy and excited um, to hear any feedback and about your experience. Uh, so thank you so much. Enjoy this, um, I like to call it a curious adventure, <laughs> this meditative journey um, that honors the soma, the body, and all that the body has been through. Okay, uh, so thanks so much and enjoy.